hi youtube world so welcome back to my channel and thank you guys for tuning in as the title suggests today i wanted to talk about how i landed my first social media management job so for those who don't know me um i work as a full-time social media manager and i've been working corporate from the very beginning and i think um, it's a very interesting job especially for tanzanian market where the field is not as saturated and it's, it's somewhat a new concept. Like, I remember at first like telling my dad what my job possesses and he was like, how are they paying you for that? Like for him it was like, that is not even a job. But that's what I do. So uh, here's my story. So I started working as a social media manager back in 2019. I, had, I did graduate from my degree at the end of 2018 and I started studying for my master's immediately after that. So by 2019, I was still schooling. I was taking my master's. So for me at the time, um, looking for a job was not my priority because I had the thing like, I was like, okay, I'm doing this master's, but I don't want to redo any exam. So I was like, I have to focus on the school so that I just give this one go. And because I don't have two years to waste just doing the same master's, you know? So I wanted to be that one year that I'll do the master's to be the year that I graduate because I don't have time to waste. <laughs> so at that year, I did not very much focus on looking for a job or anything like, I was like, low-key looking for a job like if anything comes i'll take it but i was not looking for a job if that makes sense because i was studying but luckily that is the same year that i started working as a social media manager and how that job came about is because um a friend of mine had a friend who owned a company and the company wanted a social media manager and um so technically the friend of mine is the one who suggested me to that other person but the other person was more intrigued to take me as their social media manager because they had seen my instagram page and back then i remember like i used to do some book reviews for fun and because <laughs> the company that i was is a publishing company actually it's a very big publishing company in Tanzania, and so he was like interested because i like books and the company is about books so he thought i was the perfect fit so somehow my instagram kind of contributed to me getting the job which is why he thought i was a good fit anyway and yeah so he called me and asked if we could have like a interview and then we had the one interview and tada i had the job and <laughs> so i know it looks like very easy but um I think also the other things that contributed to me, like uh, changing, totally diverging in that side of the field was that um, because even during my schooling years when I was in uni, I had like a side business and because of that side business, I had to learn like a lot of social media management because my business was fully online. So like, I think I've learned a lot of like social media management by myself because I did like a... Uh, I did Bachelor of Commerce in Human Resources. So bachelor, the way Bachelor of Commerce works in Udism, you start finance, marketing, accounting, and the HR, which was my main focus. But I was kind of like not, I think HR was too easy for me, it was boring. I kind of like, I loved marketing more than HR. That is just the point. So mainly because of the business that I had on the side, I had started taking some social media management courses on the side, which are some like self-taught. So like I read a lot of books on social media management. Also, I took a few courses online. There was this, the Google course, uh, and there was another one that I took on Coursera and another one I took on Udemy. All of those was just so that I could improve my, the performance of my business. Little did I know I was preparing myself for this full-time job position. You know, so it's kind of like um, it's kind of like a full cycle moment, you know. So um, that was how I got the job, and for for some to some degree, I'm grateful for that first job because um, because I was hands on in that job. I kind of like get to explore and learn like 
a lot of things in the field also i had like a i had like a good freedom to practice a lot of the things because i did literally everything from social media to newsletters to youtube so like anything you could do in like the digital media management ground to graphics like bro i was like an all hands on kind of girl website management and all that things so i'm grateful for that because i kind of like get to practice a lot of the things that i had learned because with my business um i only kind of like practice some of them because my business was not that big so i did not have the grounds to practice everything but when i moved to corporate i kind of like had the room and the finances to practice everything i had learned like newsletters all of that website management and everything else so with that practice and me seeing like how much potential there is in the market i kind of like uh, decided to still move in that field because at first i took that job as a part-time thing like i was like i'll just i'll just do this as a part-time thing and then later on i'll look for some hr work and stuff and like do those even though deep down i was like i don't think hr is for me <laughs> anyway so with time i kind of like um made the decision actually i was seeing this career career advisor and he kind of like suggested that um i think it's good for you to choose the areas that you'd like to focus on early on so that you kind of like you don't have to move across a lot of industries as you move through your career so i think it's with seeing the advisor that i was like okay i need to like see what i like and all of that so that i can make the decision for myself and yeah after evaluating like a lot of reasons and stuff and all of that i decided um i would love to stay in this industry like digital marketing industry in the long run so i made the commitment to like move my mindset from taking the job that i had as a part-time thing and to accepting that this will be the thing that i do in the long run so with that mind with that mindset shift a lot of things changed you know yeah so yeah and after that so i stayed in that job for over like a year or two but i would say for the first year i was treating it so much as a part-time thing and then i think it was in the second year that i had the mindset mindset shift and i was like okay so how can i do to improve myself in this like where can i move from here because at the moment i did not think i was staying that in the, with the same company for long for a lot of other reasons so after that later on i moved to a different company and i think it's it was later after i'd made the mindset after i had made the mindset shift that i started to realize that you actually don't have to just do like social media management there are a lot of things or there are a lot of roles that comprises of those same elements but they're just like under different names you know for instance there are communication roles there are pr roles all of those are, are named differently but if you look at the descriptions it's literally the same thing because at first I, I had the mindset that i just had to get something with the title social media something social media something but later i had to see things from like a wider angle and i've seen this as a challenge to like a lot of people most of us think we have to like work in this in the thing that which is titled as specifically as we went to school for you know like if i did like let's say if i did like i started like something with editorial so i have to be like something editor like i have to work with something like editor something but with this digital age and stuff i think jobs have changed so much if you have a degree in editorial you don't have to necessarily work for publishing house as an editor you could work for a social media company as a content editor you know that is a totally different thing but i think you kind of like need um, a change in mindset for you to be able to view these things with like a wider angle and from that then i got um i got this other role with a different company where i was basically a communications and pr person so you see it's like it it's almost like i've changed again but technically i'm still within the same thing because the descriptions are the same and the day to days are the same but it's just that it's changing title but same thing and i don't know how to make this make sense but with the change of industries and the way that things are moving to like digital industry a lot of industries have not like reshaped 
how the things work so they're kind of like also trying to figure it out which is why there's a lot of these like a lot of jobs are kind of like melding somehow some way but i think it's with understanding this that you could like see you're suitable for both things and you don't have to limit yourself to just one thing so yeah so my other role after the social media management thing was that uh communications and pr but it's technically still the same and yeah i'm excited about that because the I'm excited about the fact that there are a lot of possibilities with this like new industry because technically I work for a very new industry in the country so there are many more opportunities for me to grab also because I think with my field you could easily have a full-time thing and a part-time thing and they could both be moving you know so that excites me a lot also something else that I like about this job is the fact that it's not very hectic or anything like it's very light because I also did a master's degree in like actuarial science and that stuff was hard like uh -uh. I just could not imagine doing that on a day-to-day -day basis <laughs> and at this point I think after seeing the career advisor I kind of like made peace with with not using that master's degree because first and foremost I did not even enjoy it you know I don't enjoy hard things so I did not even enjoy it and then I was like and then imagine just torturing myself for more years just because I have suffered studying it like it's not making sense the suffering is behind me and I choose my way forward and my way forward is soft life you know so I was like okay if there's a possibility for me to make almost the same income with a job that I enjoy and it's a bit lighter why should I do the hard things why so uh, that's how I made peace with like not using my actuarial science degree and just moving forward with the thing that I was already doing and already enjoying which is social media management so guys that's it so i think one of the lessons that i would like to share with people is um first is to keep your friends close like i think jobs kind of like move so much between people like a lot of people know of jobs that are going on but it's just you just have to have good friends i think also there is this idea of like strong ties and weak ties i read about that from the book about uh, I, I think that was Malcolm Gladwell's book so he talks of soft ties and strong ties so strong ties is basically like your close friends the people that you go around everywhere with and then weak ties are those friends that you know from away so I know most of us are very tied to our strong ties like our friends and stuff but Malcolm Gladwell suggests that in most cases your strong ties are not the people that will help you progress further in life because in most cases uh, the people that are close to you are exposed to the same possibilities are exposed to the same opportunities they know of things that you know of yeah like they in most cases they don't know anything new that you don't know but your weak ties then like those friends that you see every now and then those people have more have like a bigger possibility to bring more opportunities to you because in most cases they are exposed to different things than you are so they're capable of bring of giving you like more opportunities and gigs and stuff like that which is what I think worked for me because yeah which is why I think it worked for me so I think it's also important to work on weak ties so like have friends that are outside your comfort zone have friends that are outside your friend group make new friends you know because you just don't know how those people are going to help in your life because it's also important to have like weak ties as I said weak ties are friends that are outside your friend cycle you know so yeah that's it also the other thing that I'd like to mention in this video is that like I think it's very important for us to like work on our mind framing because I think with the digital age there are a lot of possibilities that are out there but if you limit yourself like my career is accounting and I do online accounting and da 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 it's so easy for you to miss out on a lot of other jobs that you could probably make benefit from like just by just stretching yourself a bit so I think it's just important for you to like um free up your mind just because you did a degree in marketing does not mean you have to work in a marketing job especially if you don't enjoy it just because you did like a degree in editorial does not mean you have to work as an editor especially if you don't enjoy it i mean i think with this digital age there are a lot of possibilities there are a lot of possibilities and you just have to look 
the ways to which you could maximize on your potential and just grab opportunities as they come so yeah that's it for this video guys thank you for tuning in i hope this has been useful don't forget to join my little community and subscribe also you could share this video with someone who it might be useful to and see you in the next one bye bye